bring the game on with day-by-day -day accounts of magnificent moments in the world of football. And we also keep it live and dangerous with Daddy Freeze. And finally, the chat station. All for your listening pleasure. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. This, this is the glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. On hard facts. Hard facts. Our work at home spouses getting their financial due. I keep saying that I've I've uh, made a conscious effort to stop calling them stay-at-home spouses because it reinforces the idea that some of you have that they're just sitting at home doing nothing. And they're not sitting at home doing nothing. They're working very hard. It can be men, it can be women. It's mostly women, but it can also be men. They're running a home, they're raising children, they're ensuring that food is available when you come home, they're planning the meals, they're cleaning the house, they're making sure everything is clean, they're doing the jobs of multiple people. And sometimes they're getting the financial reward of zero. When we started this conversation, I told you about Mama Cross. If you're watching Big Brother Niger, you know Mama Cross. You know Cross, sorry. And you've heard his story. You've heard about um, him telling us how he came from a wealthy home. Or, or, well, his father was wealthy. Uh, his father owned a successful business. His father was, according to Cross, a very traditional man. So that means that he didn't want his wife to work. She was a full-time work-at-home spouse. She handled all the domestic uh, matters. And, uh, and she also required Papa Cross to give her money all the time. So if Mama Cross wanted to buy Rezo Blade, um, now your husband go ask for money. And he will give her or he will not give her depending on his church mind. I keep saying that church mind because of a call I received when we first had this conversation. And it was Benjamin. Benjamin called and said, eh, now my church mind I go use now. So you mean I should go and work hard outside? I should come back and my money is still the money that will be dictated how we're going to use it. No, anything I give you, collect it and take it like that. And there are lots of men like Cross, like Papa Cross, sorry. There are lots of men like Benjamin who called me that day and said that. The second time we talked about this, we had a thought experiment. I told you about three men who live alone, Adebayo, Bolaji, and Clement. And uh, I told you how their lives progressed until they stopped doing for themselves what they used to do for themselves while they were single. Well, Clement stayed single, so he continued to do for himself a lot of the things that um, uh, Ade Adebayo and uh, Bolaji stopped doing because they got married or they got a help that would do the work. And I promise that this week we're going to talk about financial freedom. Because it's a big deal. Nobody who works hard deserves to be at the mercy of other people financially. I come back again to Mama Cross. That woman worked hard to run her home, to raise her and her husband's children, if she were working outside, doing the exact same things, she would have been earning six figures, maybe. Maybe. But what was she reduced to? Having to ask her husband for money to buy razor blade or sanitary pad because a society has said that because she's working to keep money from leaving the home, She's not entitled to a share of the home money. Because lots of men called me uh, in the first week and the second week as well and said, ah, she's living under the roof. They know her children too. Why should I uh, also bring the money and we'll share? Because again, I'm not asking for a salary. I'm asking, is she entitled to the money that you are bringing from outside the home? Same applies if it's a man that is a stay-at-home spouse. But it's mostly women that are stay-at-home spouses. As a society, we've not yet normalized the simple concept that because she's working to keep money from leaving the home, she's entitled to a share of the home money. Because that's what she's doing. 
She's making sure money doesn't leave the home. We did the math now. Remember on the first episode? We did the math of what it would cost to have somebody clean your house, cook for you, um, uh, run errands for you, do lessons for your children, all the work that she has to do. If you were paying somebody to do it, you know how much we could pay. We've not accepted that work-at-home spouses should be given the dignity of financial freedom. Now, I want us to wrap up with another experiment, another thought experiment. I like thought, thought experiments. They're awesome. So let's do another one, right? Imagine if on their wedding day, Cross on Big Brother Niger, his father, Papa Cross, had disappeared. Just imagine. Imagine if the children had never been born. Imagine if Mama Cross spent the next 18 to 20 years doing the exact same things she would have done as a work-at-home spouse, but now she was doing them outside her home for pay. So she's a housekeeper, she's a cook, she's a nanny, she's a PA, she's a lesson teacher. We did that math. And when we're counting, when we're doing the math, it came to almost 200k. But let's even say 100,000 because Nigerians don't pay um, domestic staff well. Let's even say 100,000. If it's 100,000 in a year, she makes 1.2 million. In 20 years, she makes 24 million naira. That's money that was lost to her because she made the choice to give that labor to her home instead. In economics, we call that loss opportunity cost. But hold on, we're still doing the thought experiment. What if because she did not have home responsibilities, she was able to go to school instead? What if since she was no longer married to a traditional man, she used the money from the first four years to fund an education, to get a better, a better job? That, that's not far-fetched, by the way, because Cross told us that she went back to school after all her children left home. So it's not a far-fetched story. So yeah, instead of marriage, she went to school. She got a good job. Let's say that she's making 300000 naira a month. 3.6 million a year, 48 million in 15 years. Opportunity cost. This is the value that work at home spouses are losing for themselves when they make that choice. This is the value that their spouses are gaining. Now, of course, the, the uh, revenue, uh, the wage gap differs f depending on the category of society. So, for instance, if she's a, uh, a hair braider and he's a bus driver, the, the wage gap is different, right? So it's, it, it differs from, the, uh, from each ladder of society to the next one, right? But you get the general picture. This is the value that work-at-home spouses are losing for themselves when they make that choice. This is the value that their spouses are gaining. Are we saying that giving them financial freedom in return is too much? Are we saying that the fair thing is to leave it up to church mind? Are we saying that making them entitled to a share of income without jumping through hoops is unacceptable. Because if you do say so, then I hope you're not surprised when you see that more and more younger women, especially, <laughs> will be choosing not to be work-at-home spouses. Their yeah, eye don't tear. No, I'm not going to stay at home. I'm not going to suffer what my mother suffered. They'll be choosing instead to go out and make their own money because nobody wants to live on their knees. Nobody wants to be begging money to pay for razor blade if they have the option of making the money for themselves. And when that happens and they become the breadwinner, some of you will still shout. Do you remember that conversation we had about breadwinners, women as breadwinners? Or more, we had conversations on this show, on the glass ceiling. Ah, But look at it. 
When men are the breadwinners, it is hard for quite a few of them to concede ordinary financial freedom. Ordinary for all the work you do in the home. Let me recognize you as a financial partner. Half of everything is in your name. Every month after we save, you and I will share this small amount equally so we don't have to beg each other for money. Simple thing. Why is it so difficult? Talk to me, Lagos. 0700 993 993 993 993 993 Women, call me on 01465 01465-7190. 01465-7190. If you are listening to us in the abroad, uh, give us a call via Skype. Skype is Nigeria Info FM. That's our Skype. Nigeria Info FM on Skype. Give us a call and um, share your thoughts on the subject with us. Oladoke is on the line. Oladoke is in Oba. All right. Okay, Oladoke, now. welcome. Yeah. Now, you see, uh, some of the things that... Uh, I've been listening to this program for some time. Mm. And um, well, the thing I find interesting there mm. is that sometimes when you now tell us some story mm -hmm. to raise some hypothetical situation, mm. and then you, you, you lead us in the way to to discuss this issue. Mm. Things are not exactly the way we are looking at it. Okay. Now let's see. A man, a, the man that goes out mm. to go to his office, mm -hmm. maybe he's not even handing a 100,000 naira there. Mm -hmm. And you have laid down, this man can, woman can get that person from here. Yeah, that's where would the man get the money to pay that kind of money? Of thing? We're not telling him to pay salary. Even if it's 20000 he's making, he cannot uh, say, okay, yes. this 15000 uh, is for running the house. This 5000 okay. one take two five. I will take two five. Uh, well, that's, that's it's, it's true, sir. Mm -hmm. But I just want to say that, uh, by and large, mm. Uh, mm. you see, some, some women mm -hmm. that are in this situation, I, I know that not, not many men are in that situation. Mm. He can find himself there by some default. Okay. Maybe he lost his job, and the wife still has a very good job, then he stays at home. Okay. But there are some women that prepare themselves to just live like that. Mm. From the outset, they are just exactly like that. Mm. But those work women work. are still sure working in the house now. Yes, they are working in the house. Uh -huh. Are they uh, not entitled to what you're bringing from outside the house? They are to things, but uh, what I'm saying is this. Mm. Uh, mm. Sometimes, uh, I, I don't want to... To go into some things. Some women are not even uh, understanding the man that goes out there. Okay. He doesn't have enough money. When he gives them something, oh, they say it's not enough. Will he kill himself? Eh? Well, that's all I just say. I just want to say it because mm. I find out that uh, the, the, the people that do programs sometimes, mm. they mold our... Uh, our direction of thought, mm. and then everybody toes the line. Mm. I don't really like that. Okay, Olad that Oladoke, thank you very much for calling. Uh, Oladoke says, Hey, the women are not understanding, that's all I have. Um, if you're being honest about your income with your partner, will she still, will, will she still feel like you're hiding money? If you've not hid money before, will she, will she feel like you're hiding money? Okay, Muche is in Lekki. Okay, Muche, welcome. Yes. Is that Okemute uh, or Okemuche? Okemute. 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 Oh. Yes. All right. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, my my view is that mm. when a man a man goes out to work, mm -hmm. a woman is in the house, mm -hmm. and I'm sure before the woman uh, before she will be in the house, mm. probably she she doesn't have a job mm -hmm. or she lost her job. Or then he told her to stay at home. There are some men that say, "No, I don't want my wife to work. Stay at home." Okay. Like cross his father. Okay, I'm sure, if, before you say, let my wife stay at home, mm. there must have been an arrangement when you were getting married to her. Is that not correct? What do you mean an arrangement when you were getting married to her? That, okay, I'm going to get married to you, mm. and I want you to be a full-time full housewife. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and the woman says, okay, I am okay by that. Mm -hmm. Then if the woman says, I'm okay by that, mm. then why would the woman begin to think that uh, at a point in time, this man should be paying me salary because uh, uh, there are some things I'm doing for him. No, but, but we're not saying pay salary. We're saying if you bring money home, let that let her have a share in that money. Let her have equal share in the money you're bringing home. 
No, I, I would debunk to that. Equal share. If you say, when you come back, mm. okay, at the end of the month, okay, my wife gets this, it's all right. But equal share. No, no. Nah. Why would it be equal share? But you have equal share in what she's doing in the house. You have equal share in the home she's keeping clean. You have equal share in the children she's raising. You have equal share in the food she's making. You have equal share in the labor that she's providing in the house that allows you to go outside to work. You call that equal share? Yes, equal share. Now, what is it? Is it not? Uh, it's, it's, it's basically part of her responsibility as a woman when she wants to get married. It's part she of her responsibility that. as a woman when she wants to get married? Yes. No, it depends on who you're talking to. You're talking to me about that. I'll, I'll disagree that it's not her responsibility. It's a responsibility that, of both of you. That is why I said, by the time you want, when you wanted to get married to her, uh-huh. there's an agreement between you and the lady. Mm-hmm. Maybe probably you told her that you're not going to work. Mm. And she said, no problem. You're going to stay at home. She also said, no problem. And there was no issue. I, she didn't I, even raise this point that Okay, if I'm going to stay at home, mm. uh, then whatever you make, then whatever you make after we have brought up money to run the house, whatever is remaining, me and you will share it equally, so that I have financial freedom. So that it's not when I okay. need to buy this, I'll come and meet you. So that it's not when you die, I'm empty-handed. I don't have money. I don't have access to anything. They will pay. Who pay the rent? Who will be paying the rent? The You're the one working that. now. You're not the one working. That's part of when we have run all the household uh, expenses now. Rent is part okay. of household the prof- expenses. The, pro- the, pro- the, pro- the profit, the profit uh-huh. that is left. Profit that is left, we share equally. What do you think about that? No, that's not fair now. It's not fair to who? No, it's not fair to the man. Well, I, 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 I'm not saying that the man shouldn't give her. Yes, the man should give her something to, to give her money but not equal when you say equal you know what you're talking about mm-hmm. equal mm-hmm. no now nah. if you're making if you're making 50,000 naira hmm? yes. let's say your rent is 150,000 right oh, oh, uh, yes. so you you remove money you save money for rent you save money for school fees whatever is left in that monthly money you share it equally it's not fair to the woman that is cooking cleaning raising the children making sure that you're good in Ziaza room <laughs> Is it Sandra? It's Sandra. It's not fair. Sandra is not fair. Not fair. Okay. I, 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 I agree with you that she should be giving money, but not an equal share. Equal share raise an eyebrow, don't you know? So what happens when you die? Because a lot of you also do not make her your next of kin. You make people like Cross, who are children, your next of kin. And then your lawyers and your family members will come and collect everything. That's what happened to Cross. That's why we're talking it, about this. Anybody can die first. The woman, the woman can die first. If she dies first, nothing happens. First. She doesn't have money. She doesn't have anything for anybody to come and drag. How many times has a woman died and her family members came to drag property? Will you be shocked that those money you think you'll be giving to her, she will be using it to do her hair and end up not even having money even when the man dies. Eh, but at least she has money. It's not every time she wants to do hair, she'll come and ask you for money for hair now. Eh, I'll be giving her, but not that equal share. That's what I... I, I, I really don't consider that much. Right. Giving her money is okay. Okay, Mote, thank you so much for calling us. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we've got um, four minutes before we have to take a break. Uh, Chris in Okokomaiko is on the line. Hello, Chris. Mm, why. Good to have you on the show. Long time no here. Indeed, though. Long time. <laughs> Everywhere. Chris, Chris traveled there. Eh? Mm. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, on a lighter note, uh, happy birthday in Aria. Um... Let me start by saying that uh, uh, there is no sensible man who does not know. In fact, this particular topic shouldn't even be, I mean, overflowed. Every right-thinking man should know that in the, in, the, in the present day Nigeria, in the present world today, I mean, uh, we must, in fact, it's, uh, I mean, it's supposed to be at the back of every man's mind. It's a must. You just have to do it because to me, any woman who works from home, sincerely, to me, she, she does a greater job than even the man who actually go out to them make the, make the whole money, honestly. So to me, I think she should even have a better pay. Because take for instance, I mean, uh, I know at least of a close uh, family friend anyway. That was a particular time. I mean, the man who actually goes out to make the money, he went out to make the money and uh, he didn't have the money while coming back. It was actually from those monies the woman used to keep. It was from there that I mean, they used to foot their bill for several days before the man was able to I mean, make some money. So I think uh, we cannot even continue to argue over this. No, I don't think any man should even argue over this, sincerely speaking. Every woman should be financially, uh, have all the fin- financial freedom he or she deserves. You know, in, in the world today, sincerely speaking, everybody deserves to be free. Everybody deserves to own his or her, her own money. So I think uh, 
I mean, we must shatter those glasses that are stopping women from attaining their potential, from achieving their goal in any form or in any manner. Thank you. Thank you for calling, Chris. Long time. Good to hear you again. We've got um, David from VGC who says, so, okay, well, that's a message from the big three just dropping now, I guess. Uh, here's this message here from Joshua in a jar. Joshua says, uh, you cannot say equal share in this. You keep talking about when the man dies and all that. Haven't we had women dying first? How can it be equal share when sometimes the man even pays the bills that he never plans for? For example, family members even from the side of the wife can call at will for one assistance or the other, etc. For Christ's sake, he can give our pocket money for contingencies and not that there should be any sort of sharing formula. No, be only equal share, not equal rights. Hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we've got more messages here. Sandra, we don't need to share the money left. If I go to work and do all the work, bring the money home, give her money for food, for her upkeep, then I save the rest for future purposes. No, you save now. Huh? I'm not saying don't save. You save, you will... What, whatever is... You know what? Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll keep having this conversation. I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. <laughs> Calling on all streamers, gamers, and heavy data-based business machines. Glow is giving you a mega data plan that's truly out of this world. For 100,000 Naira, you get a whopping one terabyte of data that carries you for a whole year. Wow, yes, Ooh. you heard right. One terabyte for 100,000 Naira. So go ahead, chat, stream HD videos, post, upload, download, and enjoy mega data as much as you want, 247-365. Dial star 777 hash to subscribe today. Glow Unlimited. You <sighs> get this way, things not just they go your way. <sighs> but <laughs> you know me say you go give up? Waiting you go do not to stay strong. Hold on to your hustle. Because... <laughs>
Entwicklung, LSD Swing und MPC Swing im Weißen mit Entrepreneurs gibt es doch mit der Vision to raise the spirit of innovation and empower the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. Und solche Entrepreneurs gibt es doch mit 2047 on Friday, 24th of September at the Lobby Arena in Berlin Harbor. Friday, the 20th of October, the Free Friday and the Thursday, Learn Capital Business Learning, the Leading Industry Expert. So book your business on Friday and get it started to win you the first entrepreneurship award. Access up to 75% scholarship to study online with a typical British Prussian University. Call 079-5154. That is 079-5154 to reserve your spot today. If you're a visa holder, you're a VIP. With an early visa and dental plan. It means you have exclusive access to the most world-class free offers of a wide selection of visa packages. Plus, it is a free, never-to-be-added, flex-free summer. And everyone will be signing a visa card at the office of Fred Van Hoven Visa Benefit and Housing Trust Fund. To meet him, write to Fred at 's getting their financial due it's our final final part for this particular um, series we've been on it for a while now and I'm glad it's come to an end and I'm asking something you know very simple really do work at home spouses deserve uh, well yes they do in my opinion they do so it's not even do they deserve it's what exactly do they deserve you know because i'm a huge uh, believer in financial freedom and financial fin financial freedom doesn't come from uh, anything where i like give you I, mean, I go give you financial freedom comes from all right i'm working in the home to make sure that you can work outside the home when you come back um let's talk about what you've brought into the house and then let's talk about how um, it can benefit both of us. Let's talk about, uh, you know, what I can get out of it. And, and, you know, let's talk about how we can split it. Because we talk all the time about the, uh, the value of domestic work, 
right? On the one hand, society is very quick to say that it's very important work. But on the other hand, stay-at-home wives, because they're mostly wives, uh, are working to run the home and they have zero financial power. Her husband who's working outside the home is keeping control of all the money. If that same woman were doing all of that work outside the house, she would be making money. If she were not at home and the man had to get somebody else to do it, he would probably pay for that service. Now, I'm not saying that you should pay your wife salary or pay your husband salary like staff. I'm saying that they should have equal control of and access to the house income as your partner. Should the work that they're doing, the domestic work that they're doing, give them equal financial rights in the home? 014657190. Where are my women? I'd like to hear from women today. 014657190. That's for women, only women. For men, only 0700993993993. 0700993993993993. You can also share your thoughts on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. And we've got WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 080 959 05. Funke is on the line. Hello, Funke. Thank you very much for calling us. Hi, Funke. Yeah. Thank you for calling. You're live on the show now. Oh, Sandra, it's good to connect you today. Yes. Hey, there's something about this issue. Hmm. As long as men don't divorce themselves from that idea of my money, your money, they are not committed to their marriage. Okay. I believe when once one is married, mm. your money should belong to your wife. And your wife's money should be yours. Mm-hmm. In other words, when you get back home, you, you made that woman to stay at home, to mm. take care of the kids, to do all the household chores. And now you earn your salary. Mm. You came back home, you settled the bills, and at the end of the day, you feel you should just give her a share. No, she has equal rights. Any amount that is left, if it is 30000 she has to call right to 15000 And you keep the 15000 Even sometimes I feel the woman should have more than the man. Why? It's at home with the kids. There could be an emergency. Imagine the woman that is left empty. The child develops one or two issues. And you run the child to the hospital and you have to call your husband. Oh, honey, my baby is not feeling fine. The child will take $5,000. No, it shouldn't be that way. The woman should have, in fact, more money than the husband who is out. Because she has to take care of more needs than him that is out there. So for me, any man that feels his money is his money, is not committed to his marriage. That means he's selfish from my own point of view. Funke, thanks for calling. Juliet is in Sulere. Hello, Juliet. Hello, Sandra. Good Th- afternoon. Good Lagos. afternoon. Thank you for calling. It's so interesting listening to the few men who have refused the concept or the idea that they should share what is left 50-50. Hmm. But somehow they don't hesitate to give the other 50 parts to the side chick outside and all the other the other, other rooms. Somehow it seems fair to give them the other half of the 50%. But to give the wife who bears your name, bears your children, schools them, educate them, it's your last resort when all, all hell broke loose and, every, and the only help when things go wrong with you, that's when everybody will remember you have a wife to come and handle the responsibility. All the men refusing to accept the idea or the concept that they should give the, the remaining 50% to the woman, they are digging their own grave. Because when the man falls sick and has all kinds of emergencies, it is the wife the next of kin that everyone will look to and ask, where is she? Why didn't she do Why didn't she that? Thank you. All right, Juliet. Thank you very much for calling. Women, call us on 01465-7190. 01465-7190. Men, call us on 0700-993-993-993. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at messages that we've gotten on WhatsApp. Sandra, I think the best way to understand and address this topic is to assume that we have as many work-from-home dads as moms can. But but we don't. We don't have as many work-from-home dads as we have moms. 
we have more, uh, even abroad, we have more um, women working from home than we have men. It's changing abroad. Uh, it's also changing in Nigeria, but in fact, no, it's not even changing in Nigeria. <laughs> Happiness in Ikorodu, welcome. Hello, Sandra. Thank you for calling. Good evening. Good evening. Great job, darling. Thank you. Please keep preaching to them. This topic must not end, though. It must not end. <laughs> today, today is the final please. episode, though. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, Sandra, please, 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 please. It's a big sickness. It has eaten deep. It's a big sickness. Please, Sandra, this topic must not end like that. Please. <laughs> Great job. Thank you, happiness. All right. I think that's all happiness called to say. Uh, we appreciate your call. Let's take a look at WhatsApp, see the messages we have there. Uh, Emeka Ndumele from AJ City says the woman should be paid more. I don't even think I agree that she should be paid more, but okay. Sandra, are you inciting women or sensitizing women? Lion Mohammed banned Twitter. God will ban the media for causing confusion in people's homes. <laughs> this is a Nigerian only problem. Oh. <laughs> Feel Philippine Aja with that message. Well, if you think I'm inciting them, I don't know what to tell you, to be honest with you. But uh, all right. Women, am I inciting you? Let me know. Alex uh, sent us a message, says, I, as a man, have had to stay at home with the kids for one week. I had to take them to school, pick them up, bathe them, feed them, help out with the homework, not to mention keeping the house clean. At the end of the one week, I was certain that stay-at-home wives are doing a full-time job. They even deserve promotion every six months. <laughs> Alex. All right. Ngozi is in Lekki. She's a first-time caller. Hello, Ngozi. Hello, Sandra. Thanks for calling. Okay. You know, Sandra, this topic, eh? Mm. <laughs> no matter how you talk about it, the men will not bring any money. You. <laughs> they will not share anything 50-50. <laughs> so, the thing is, my advice to Nigerian women is, they should just focus on raising their children. Okay. Just be raising your children, oh. Give yourself 15 years. You are done. Mm. Don't grow fat, oh. Just raise your children. After 15 years, you enter market. You ah. now start making your money. I do not find out that employers now want to employ more women than men. Okay. Hello? Uh, yeah, but you're, by, by the time it's, you're ready for employment, you're too old. Because ageism not, is still a thing in Nigeria. Yeah. Ah, it is not true. Okay. I said, eh, mm. while you're raising those children, find, find a way to be developing yourself. Okay. And focus on raising that children. My mother was just telling me, see, eh, just focus on these children. Hmm. Don't be raising them because if they don't do well, hmm. nobody will call the man. It's the woman that they will be calling. Hmm. Be raising them. When you finish raising them, let me see whether the man will go to America to go and do a mogul. I will be the God here and do a mogul. You will stay, now. You stay for Nigeria. So if you don't want to come help me, you carry your money, go stop, uh, go stop uh, five star, five star more, uh, food. Now, now then go catch diabetes first of all. The most families, have you not seen that it's the man that falls sick first? Okay. Now then they fall sick for sometimes they don't chop all the money for five star. They will go outside, go to big big restaurants, eat uh, twenty thousand other food to bring back money home. Now wahala, there is no problem, no problem. Maybe they, they call their money or maybe they no give us. They should hold it, take take all the money. Me, I will be raising the children, raising them very very well, so that they will turn out well. Because if they don't turn out well, they go call me. When I don't finish the work, make I come see you. Maybe where you can't do a mugo now. You go there for Nigeria without your side cheek. Back on a day there. If you live in a life, back on a side fresh to burn new Pekin. Me, I don't move on. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Ngozi, thank you for calling. Okay. Um. Okay, let's take a few more thoughts. 99.3, hello. Hello. How are you? What's your name? My name is Florence. Welcome, Florence. Yes, Sandra. Mm -hmm. You are still watching what they do there, I what? I'm scared, last you know, you are still watching what they do there now. The women are para, you know. <laughs> Ninety nine point three. Hello. Hello, Sandra. Thank you for calling. What's your name? <laughs> I want to remain anonymous. That's fine. 
But for the other caller that said that women should just focus on their children, I go with her. Okay. Because if my husband can even be giving me 20000 or 10000 from what is ending, mm. earning at every month, mm. I will be the most happiest person. Okay. He feels that his money is not mine. And we are different. I will be married for over 20 years. Oh. So most of us sit at home mothers now. Mm. It made me to lose my job. It made me not to do anything of my own I wish, except the one we do together. Mm. And at the end of the day, we don't have the same account. Mm. The whole money is going to his account. And at the end of the day, I will not know how much we are making. Mm. And at the end of the day, he can still not give me 10 naira. He will want me, when I need razor blade, I will ask him, darling, Give me money for his oblique. For mm. how long are we going to continue? If not our children being our hope for the future. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling. Hmm. 99.3. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling. What's your name? Sandra, good evening. Good evening. What's your name? This is Mercy. I'm calling from Mali Motion. Welcome, Mercy. <laughs> you see, Sandra, mm. you see the reason why men are enjoying themselves. <laughs> they said uh, their own is only snap. But it's the woman who, that will be enjoying everything okay. later. That woman reminds me of that talk. So just like what the woman is, women should be caring for their children sure, okay. and develop themselves while they are still taking care of them. But I support that man should be giving them something to be saving in case of rainy, uh, raining day. Mm. But if they are not willing to do it, mm. what will we do? We have to continue to develop ourselves. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. Now, I hope that part of what we're raising our children to be are men who, number one, will say, don't be a stay-at-home, uh, a, a work-at-home wife. Even if you're going to be a work-at-home wife, okay, the money I'm making, it's for us. This is how much I've made for the month. This is what is going to school fees. This is what is for the upkeep of the home. This is what is for house rent. This is what is for medical bills. This is for emergency stash. Then this is what is going to be for us to use a dual banco. You know? Hopefully, those are the kinds of sons and daughters that we're raising. Because I also want wives who do these things I'm talking about with their husbands who are working at home. The same way I want husbands who do these things we're talking about with their wives who work at home. 99.3, hello. Sandra, pick me a call also. Let me call from the main line. 99.3. <laughs> hello, turn your radio off, turn your radio off. What's your name? Yeah, yeah. I'm Jimmy. Yeah, I just want to contribute to your... Yes, please, go ahead. Um, the idea of a woman working from home, um, it, it, it means housewife. Because that, 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 uh, asking the husband to be paying salary means that the wife is a... You know, the woman is a housewife. He's not paying she salary. She doesn't have a job. You said... He's not paying salary. Okay, just be sharing money with her. Yeah. Okay. If, if she, the, the reason that the man is able to go outside and work and stay out late and do all the things he's doing is because he knows that he has a home that he's coming to that has been kept by somebody. And keeping a home okay. is a lot of work, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you see, um, mm -hmm. I think the world has moved a lot, lot further than that, okay. you know. Uh, the idea of a woman, because you're married, you, mm. you, you be a housewife, and mm. you're just keeping the home. The world has gone beyond that. And nobody should take us back to what was happening maybe in the 1930s, 30s, and 40s, up to 50s. Okay. Now, if a, if a young man wants to marry, mm. you met, probably you met in the university, mm -hmm. you know, or you met in the office, mm -hmm. or the woman is engaged in a trade, mm -hmm. and you know this person is basically engaged in whatever she's doing. Mm -hmm and you decide to marry, mm. then it is your responsibility. The two of you should, should work together. Mm. I mean, uh, running the home is not a woman's job. It is not. She's the only one who should mind the children, who should do the school run, who should do the cooking, who should do the cleaning, whatever. No, it's a marriage, you know, involving two mature people. The two of you should be able to stay down. The school run, for example, whoever is whose uh, schedule is a lot more flexible, mm. we may be doing it. Mm. And that doesn't mean the other person can't chip in, you know, some help. Mm. 
mm-hmm. once in a while. Mm-hmm. Talking about home cleaning, mm-hmm. if you don't have money to hire a help, mm-hmm. then the two of you will have to do it. Mm-hmm. Don't get little, little conveniences like washing machine. How much is washing machine? Mm-hmm. And the last one of the, of the people who washing machine is about 10 years. Mm-hmm. Get a washing Mm. You know, so when you wake up as a demand, for example, mm-hmm. if, if you wake up at five, you can just load the machine, pour water, and you are started. Mm. If your wife, you know, so one, you know, another person can just come to the cycle, mm-hmm. and that is it. Mm-hmm. Talking about cleaning or even running errand, your wife went to the market, came back to cooking. Mm. You can put, you can, you can just set a grand paper. It doesn't reduce your big money or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the idea that a woman should be house housewife, mm. the world has gone beyond that because. Those who have female children, mm. who train them, whether mm. in vocation, whether in education, mm. you know, mm. they expect something from them. That's right. Not necessarily for the parents, for the children to come and be giving parents money, but they want to also see their children mm-hmm. at the end of her years, making good, you know, living the good life, making something for themselves. So why must marriage abrogate all that? That's right. Young men should, should be reoriented. They should develop better orientation about women. Mm. One of the days that a woman will be married and because you are married, you have to, you know, forget your own life passion. No, the fact that a woman works does not mean that she's not going to be able to set up for the home. Mm. The, the, what matters is that the husband too, should, the, the, you know, he should support. He should be and if there is a case of maybe a sickly child, mm. if it's a temporary thing, mm. the woman can take time off from work and take care of the child. But if it's a neurological disorder that doesn't have cure, that the child has to live with for the rest of, of, of his or life, then the woman also decides from rent to go out of the home, you know, meet with outside world, work, refresh her brain, and come back to the problem. In other words, get a care for that baby. So couples should just work things out instead of making all the problems of the family, the woman's problem. That's my contribution. Thank you so much. I agree with everything she said, every single thing. But unfortunately, we live in a world where... Still, we have men who say, no, you cannot work. Because remember, Lagos, where did we start from? Where did this conversation start from? It started from that, my friend. Who was it at her job? And they were about to give her a promotion. And that promotion was going to come with an MBA. And the husband said, no, you can't take this promotion, even though your office is going to pay for you to get this MBA, because you can't have an MBA before me. Do you remember that that's where we started? And then we now went from there to women breadwinners. And then we now went from there to women who are not breadwinners, but who are working in the home. You get why? <laughs> I wish we had more time, but we don't. We, we really, really don't. So let me go to WhatsApp and take a look at some messages. That's all we have time for. Um, John from Dallas, Texas says... In my household, we have three bank accounts, my personal account, my wife's personal account, and the joint account. Also, the savings account. At the end of the week, the money comes in. We sit down on the dining table. We discuss how much goes to where and how much is the pocket money for each of us. It's my wife having access to all my accounts and I having access to all her accounts. If this trust in the relationship, you would not worry about the money in the bank with your wife having some kind of control. So it's the problem. The problem with some Nigerian men is that they lack trust in their relationship. John from Dallas, Texas with that message. John, thank you so much. Hello, Sandra. I want to believe that we are either talking about septuagenarian families because I don't think the home is also the sole responsibility of women. Personally, I love clean environments, so I do house chores even when I was in hectic Lagos. You'd be surprised how alone you are there. That's the reason a lot of men marry, so that they will get free labor. Lagos, something new will come your way on the glass ceiling next week. But coming up, let's talk about the e on Balogun and Broad. When you haven't used your SIM for quite... 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.